Hey there guys, so this is a full review for the LG Fortune for Cricut Wireless. And my question is, is this worth it? The answer is, let's find out because you never know. So the first thing is, I did set this up as new. I reset it since the first time I got it. And I didn't load many apps on here just because I kept it more stock to have the mod kept it more stocked because I was making calls, sending sending text messages, making calls, and playing around with it. And this phone, to start it off, if we go into the settings, we can see all the way down here, I hate having notifications up, all the way down here, we can see software info. We are running Android 6.0.1. Very, very, very disappointing. As you can see, as this phone came out in March like seriously LG and I keep on getting notifications I don't care I'm not giving my feedback so the next thing is this quick toggles thingy it's very bad because you can only of course you can have volume on there but if you okay so, but if you drag up here like that as you can see you can't have the same type of apps that you're normally getting on the same type of quick toggles that you're normally getting so you're getting whatever quick toggles are there so sort of i don't like this device because of that but if you continue going through you see i have the standard home with app drawer on and if you tap and hold you get here to this widget wallpapers standard standard lg stuff this is the thing that I'm really most annoyed about. And if you go into settings, we'll go through the settings and then we'll go through the rest of it. You have all of this and then you have this. No NFC, but you do have hotspot and tethering like every device has nowadays. Sound and notifications. We can go through. Pretty it gets pretty loud, happens to be from in my opinion. And you have all that. You have home screen, lock screen, storage and USB. Basically, it takes an SD card. You can't format it as the internal storage and it does not have an OTG support. Basically, this device is very, very bad. And it has removable battery though. And then you have memory, you have apps. This has memory, has 1.5 gigs of memory, and it doesn't have a fingerprint sensor, but it has, this is just with the stock stuff. I didn't do anything to it. You have 9.08 gigabytes used. If available is 6.92 gigabytes which is ridiculous you have your location services security accounts backup google language and keyboards so you have your lg keyboards automatic on this thing because it's an lg device and what else do you have you have shortcut keys which is basically the uh plus and then minus button down twice whatever like this so if you do double up it'll open up this and if you do the double down it will open up the camera here later i hear how it asks you about that and then you have your access and then you have your about phone now when you close that out again going like this normally you don't have to go like that some st stupid thing where they just don't have that i'm not complaining too much but it is annoying and you have all of your basic stuff then what you can do is you have your cricket apps you also have your google apps that come here pre-installed you have your calculator, calendar, camera, and the camera on this thing is pretty good. I want to do, I'm going to do a dedicated video next on the camera specifically. It has a 5 megapixel rear and 5 megapixel front. And if I'm not mistaken, they both shoot, if I'm going to open it up, but if I'm not mistaken, they both shoot at, at uh, HD. So they do shoot at, I'm going to change it to video. Okay, stop. If I'm not mistaken, they both they just shoot at HD, so it is only a 720p camera. Very disappointing, and no, I don't want to back up. Very, very disappointing because it is a device that came out in 2017. I understand it came out in March of 2017, but still, think about the LG Aristo here. Came out around the same time, if I'm not mistaken, and look at it. Then you have your 
Clock, blah, blah, blah. You have a file manager built in. That's what I like about LG. But then you have an FM radio. You plug in headphones for the radio. And what you can do is you can listen to local radio stations. So you don't have to deal with your standard music that's on your device. You can just listen to the radio if you want to. Then you also have Quick Memo Plus, which is a nice, nice little app. You have Tasks, Voice Recorder, and that's really it. There isn't much to it. More of it's one of the least Android phones I recommend. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play a YouTube video. I played a YouTube video for myself, and this screen is only 480p. So what I am going to do is I am going to look up Epidemic Sound here. And I'm going to play a song here for you. So let's go to this 4K track so you can see that it's only up to 480p here. So like, uh, very, very sad. Let's click this song. So, for the screen it is, I thought it was a 720p screen happens to be. I thought it was 720p. Was I right? No, it was 480p. Like, still disappointing, but at the same time, I thought it was a 720p screen. So, kudos to LG for making it look like a 720p screen. Now, I am going to go here and click this. I am going to go through and show you your show you your um, emoticons that you have. So here are some of the emoticons that you do get with your device. You get smiley faces. These are LG looking emoticons, not the standard Google emoticons. And they look nicer in my opinion, and you can do all of these. And this device hasn't been the fastest device in the world. It's been, happens to be a little bit slower than I than I expected it to be. Since it only has 1.5 gigs of RAM, some devices can actually still be fast. This one though isn't. It isn't the fastest. Picture taking is fast though. If you see one, that was actually a little bit slow there. Thought it would be a little faster. And this keeps on coming up. You're eligible for two years of 100 gigabytes. And I don't know. You can take it up if you want to, but I don't know why they did this. Let's take a look around the device now, as I just showed you the software of the device. Let's take a look around the device. So on the bottom of the phone, you have a headphone jack, a micro USB port. LG keeps on doing this to their, to their uh, cheap devices, and you have a microphone. On the right side, you have nothing. The top, you have a noise-canceling mic. The side you have a volume, the left side you have a volume up and down button. And then the back you have your 5 megapixel camera, your flash, your power button, your Cricut logo, cool pattern, and then you have your speaker which is a circle and your LG logo. In the front you have your, you have your 5 megapixel front camera, sensors, earpiece, 480p uh, 5 inch display, and your LG logo. The battery also now is removable with a 2500 mAh battery you have up to 120 gigabytes of micro SD storage and a nano sim card so you can just use any sim card you want to really and you can unlock this if you want to and that is the, the, that is the device now the question for me now is do I recommend this device the answer to me is no it came out in 2017 March it has Android 6. I don't recommend this device. It's slower. 
you can get faster devices on Cricut. I know I got this device only for $29.99 for the holidays, but it goes for about $100 or so. You can get the ZT, ZT X Max, 100 bucks. Great device, faster, bigger screen, bigger everything, better everything, and I recommend it more. So, I don't know. It's up to you if you want to buy it. If you have it and you like it, comment down below. If you have it and you hate it, comment down below too and see. Tell me why you like it or hate it. If you did like this video, please hit that subscribe button if it is red. Also, please hit that bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified of future videos. Also, hit the thumbs up, comment down below, and as always, enjoy the rest of your day.